creates bad food and calls it American versus creates delicious food and names them after other countries. That's how we do it in the US apparently. Meanwhile, the Canadians came up with Hawaiian pizza. They tried to blame us as if we're responsible for this monstrosity. They also came up with American cheese though? Wait, this is claiming someone from Switzerland came up with American cheese. What? Well, regardless, the meme still fits. Finally, turkey with the American salad. Okay, this doesn't actually look that bad. Meanwhile, we here in the US came up with dip and named it after the French. Also, the German chocolate cake. What's a Cuban? I don't know if it's a salad or a sandwich. And finally, the hamburger. I'm assuming they're referring that we named this after Germany, since that is a city out here in northern Germany. Whenever I see this place, I can only think of that one SpongeBob gift. This is what it's like to actually live there, right? To be fair, sometimes one country came up with the food, and then we Americans just randomly name it after another, so I don't really know why we do that. Oh, I just wanted to add the German chocolate cake is actually named after the inventor. His name, Samuel German. The virgin Western European. No, our cuisine is so diverse for using 5,000 different ingredients. Meanwhile, the Chad Central slash Eastern European. Our national dish consists of pork, potatoes, and cabbage. Other famous dishes include pork and dough, pork and cabbage, and in winter, a nice stew of cabbage and potatoes. Sometimes that's all you need. I mean, honestly, there's a sizable portion of Americans that literally just live off potatoes and cheese. You realize how much food we consume that's literally just that? Maybe throw some bread in there too? Average US soldier in WW2, he is severely underweight. All I need is my M1. Versus average US soldier now. By the way, he's jacked AF. Oh my god, it's too heavy. Does anyone have a charger? Why don't we just go back to the M1s in the first place? Those were solid. Har har, the world takes my military seriously. No, take my military seriously. My advanced infantry program and my 4.5th generation fighter jet. The world takes my military seriously. Oh, they got some high tech stuff. Okay, Australia, New Zealand, US, UK, Switzerland, Germany, Norway, Israel, Sweden, Finland, Japan, Italy. Another IQ chart, I guess. Fascism is cool. This guy looking at the video game Hell Divers 2. Meanwhile, the point going right over his head that the US has a divine right to conquer not only Earth, but the whole universe. Imagine Manifest Destiny, but on a galactic scale. The Baltic Sea back in 1989 versus the Baltic Sea here in 2024. The so first thing we gotta remember in 1989, this was obviously right before the official end of the Cold War. And specifically, this was when Russia was still the Soviet Union, who still controlled all of the Baltics. So after that, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania all got their independence, eventually joining NATO, of course. And in 1989, the Iron Curtain still existed, so Poland, and specifically just East Germany, was still communist. Obviously, that fell, and they also joined NATO. Finally, the most recent two big color changes of this map, Finland and Sweden, has just joined NATO here in 2024. Well, Finland last year, but Sweden right now. So the NATO lake has been formed. They just have to take back Kaliningrad somehow. Maybe give that to Czechia. We have NATO lake, but how about NATO lakes? Black Sea has potential. Types of headaches. Migraine. Hypertension. Stress. And finally, the worst of them all. Aussies here in America saying, we've been best friends since World War I. Apparently, they're pretty tired of that. <laughs> Let it go. I still really do love the memes, though. Like, whenever America gets into a fight, the Australians are, like, leading the charge against whatever enemy. In race for top EU and NATO jobs, Eastern Europe asks, are we not equals? Mom, who's your favorite? Aw, uh, sweetie, I love you both equally. Okay. <laughs> it's you and by a lot. I mean, is anyone actually really surprised about this, though? I thought this was just kind of a given. I develop a cutting-edge indigenous capability. The U.S. promises me a massive discount if I cancel it and just buy theirs instead. I cancel it. The U.S. massively hikes its prices now since there's no competition, forcing the U.K. to pay through the nose or lose the capability outright. There seems to be a lot of military uh, examples of this around here too. Big European media. Guys, Eurovision is coming. Literally anything else. Guys, it's almost Eurovision. Please watch Eurovision! I don't know if it's working. I don't watch Eurovision, but uh, I do find it interesting to see who wins. I like witnessing the memes. Jollibee named second fastest growing restaurant in the world. The Philippines with a major dub. The Jollibee empire will continue to grow. This man from Indonesia who looted 15 to 35 billion versus Fernand Marcos from the Philippines looted 5 to 10 billion. Both these two countries agreeing to have the two most corrupt leaders in history. I mean, I don't even know if I'd be mad. That's just impressive. 
of how did you loot 5 billion or anything more than that? Obviously, I'd be mad, but it's it's impressive. <laughs> Work and travel and improve oral English in Australia. Uh, why is that the Austrian flag? Or have a gap year making TikToks about mental health, yoga, and Bali. Lisa, 18, who just graduated Germany. Oh man, the choices. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be a tough one for sure. I think I would choose Bali, to be honest. Hey, Grandpa, you should come visit for Christmas. It's only a thousand kilometer train ride with three changes, and then you can take a taxi to my door versus, no, Grandpa, I won't allow you to take a train. I will come get you and take care of you, and then we eat with the whole family. It's funny, you could have made this a multiple choice question. I would have been able to probably predict what countries do this. If NATO interferes with Ukraine, we will declare war on you. Do it. There's definitely some NATO members that are saying this, that's for sure. Actually, this is literally just Poland, isn't it? Who now is tell Macron any French troops you send to Ukraine will suffer fate of Napoleon's army? Won't they have to occupy Moscow first? Is Putin gonna have to burn down his old cities again? Day five. I survived seven days in an abandoned city. Oh man, do we want to make any guesses exactly which country this is? Mr. Beast just survived the average Balkan city. Apparently, the actual country was Croatia, though. So they were right about the Balkan part. Please names of Slavic origin in Albania versus place names of Albanian origin in Kosovo. Oh, uh, uh, all right, let's just move on. <laughs> this guy, Albanian Emperor X, <laughs> doesn't like this me. Albania wants Kosovo. Meanwhile, when you're America and you see your little buddy in trouble, I am proud to be Serbian, uh, uh, our, uh, Okay. German Navy almost shot down U.S. drone over Red Sea. A German warship in the Red Sea almost shot down a U.S. drone in a narrowly inverted case. Meanwhile, the German ship, the Houthi militia, some random Chinese vessel passing by, also the American drone itself. That must have been an extremely confusing situation for everyone involved. What the hell is happening here? Are the Germans and Americans back at war with each other again? Pakistani people, when they realize they're on the Indian subcontinent. <laughs> I actually didn't even realize that. We do call it the Indian subcontinent. People from Pakistan probably are not fans. I think they probably probably refer to it as South Asia, huh? Australians, after going through one of the hottest summers without a major bushfire. I love to see how many similarities there are between Australia and my state of California. Usually one of us is always constantly on fire. My daily routine in New York City, wow! Big city equals good. <gasps> what I spent in a week as a 21 year old living in New York City. <laughs> I mean, I do still find that content interesting. I mean, who doesn't find it interesting? Whether you're horrified or you want it for yourself, I don't know, but also some of this is just like incredibly like made up. <laughs> Blanco. See, si, Blanco. Bullying. <laughs> I I don't know. Welcome to Russian Logic. Okay, yeah, they're taking a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no Germans. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. German far-right leader hails Brexit as a model for Germany. Look, mom, Brexit. Don't look at them. I don't want you to get influenced by them. Something, something German words. It's too late. Oh, okay, yeah, that was pretty obvious. I'll take things that will never happen for 500, Hans. Chicago needs to dye their river green to look Irish. In Boston, we are Irish. I'm only made aware of this meme because the actual Irish Irish are not very happy about this. Usually people from other countries don't like when Americans claim to be, uh, well, when they have heritage in another country but claim to be an actual citizen of that country. I've actually even witnessed it from Mexicans to Mexican Americans. Nothing says Irish as much as a giant flag of a country other than Ireland. That is the most Irish thing, isn't it? And big thanks to my patrons. Kansas was mentioned. A fat normal Carmel amateur archaeology. The beautiful Megan. Edward, Frederick Hedlund, Hedlund, without Inquisitor Jack Zarius, Straven's John Gambino is best girl, Heavy, Ride the Pie, I love the Mexican 760, and Zany Boy, 